well, another half an hour got done. Um, dropped off the rocker cover, pulled out the injectors. Uh, nothing's broken in here, so that's always uh, reassuring. Yeah, I've just wiped off the face where the gasket was. There's a few dinks on it, but uh, yeah, the injectors. So this is these have come out from clutch end. Um, clutch end is uh, clearly running a bit hotter or cleaner. The others are a bit, uh, a bit more goo on them. Surprised how easy they came out. Though. Um, right, so I just need to find out, check my button final. I've got some print out, find out which head bolts are in which order they come out. I think you work from the outside to in, but I might as well check the book and get it right. Right, so we uh, took the camshaft, no, rocker shaft off. Uh, Trying to determine where that's from. Probably that. Yeah, it is. Um, when I was uh, when I first took it off, one of the things I noticed. See the little adjusters on the end of the tappets. I guess you can undo. Yeah, they're on. Anyway, that one's been mauled, isn't it? And then. When I pulled out the push rods, we got this banana. That's out quite a bit. Hard to tell because it's um, I've got a straight edge, but that's not bad. So I don't know what they've done with that. Um, we'll see what else we find. Can't see any damage on the top of the cylinder, so uh, who knows. I'll just give it a quick wipe over with some white spirit just to throw the oil off. Um, there's a bit of carbon build up. There's the diesel, what do you expect? I can't see any major uh, cracking or anything like that. Don't look in bad nick. They're probably famous kiss of death. Last words and all the rest of it. Anyway, uh, the plan is to send it away to a firm that specialise in reconditioning heads. I'm going to drop a straight edge over it and see if there's any uh, bend on it. I don't think there is. There's nothing to suggest there should be, but we'll check it out. I've took the uh, heater plugs out. They all look reasonable. Nothing crunched. I'm wondering whether at some stage somebody's had the head off. Um, might have reconditioned it. I don't know. But when they put the... Um, when they put that back on, they've cranked it down and that's forced one of the rockers to bend that um, push rod. I can't think of another reason why that push rod would be bent. Unless they've got the timing wrong on it, but that would have thrown out more than just one push rod. Anyway, I'm not going to drop the valves or anything like that because, as I say, the plan is to send it out and they've got all the gear for doing that. Well, a bit more progress. We've got the uh, flywheel and the flywheel housing off. Uh, start a motor and the likes. Um, that's pretty much this back end done now. I don't know what's going on there. Evidently it's well lubricated everywhere. Uh, I think we'll go out the other end now and uh, see what we can take off. Never noticed when I uh, opened it before, but in the process of taking the flywheel off, it, it's turned over. We've got quite a big recess in there. Well, that's uh, some cunning plan for that. Anyway, uh, need to take that lot off. Get the high pressure pump off. Uh, there's still a bit of uh, coolant knocking about in it. So I want to take take this bit off and then uh, I've got to make up a frame to carry and basically pick off the hole markings on there, so these. And uh, make a plate and then stick that on the front of an engine 
stand, which is down there in bits. Then I get it up off the floor and uh, start looking at it. Got an assortment of fixings on these. Must have had some odd ball bolts. That's got a 12 mil head. That's a 10. That's a 10. That was 13. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they've been uh, lost and then tapped out or something, I don't know. Anyway, water pump job, then uh, we'll look at the casing behind it and the timing off that for the pump. Probably, I, I don't know what to expect until I open it up. That's the water pump off. There's a bit of corrosion on it. And that could be just from uh, the evaporation of the water element that's in there. I should clean up all right, I'll check the bearings. Interestingly for you, I used to work in a summer job for a firm called International Radiators. Um, place has got long since gone and been bought out, whatever. And they had a water pump refurb department in amongst the uh, plant. Where they, all they used to do was refurb, rebuild water pumps. There we go. Right, next bit's the, uh, I think the front cover. Got to have a look, see. Another one of the vast array of different sizes and fittings. Anyway, yeah, the next job is to take this cover off. Um, I've got all the bolts free. And then after that cover's off, you can take that backing plate out. And some of these. I think this is for the power steering bracket, but as we're not having power steering, we'll probably do away with that. Cup of tea time. A little bit more progress in between various di uh, disruptions. Um, got most of the rear end or front end off now. Uh, pretty sure I've got to remove that front gear off the crank to get this out of casing off. Uh, it's keyed on and there are three. Let me see them. One, two, three uh, M5 holes in it. So I assume there's some kind of special tool to give you attached onto there and then you just pull it off, pull her off that. Um, the reason I don't think this goes over it, because it's bloody close, is it would need a seal on it. I would think. Anyway, had enough today, it's too bloody hot. And uh, what a drink. Got the uh, high pressure pump off. That wasn't too much of a chore. So yeah, we're getting to a stage where I'll have to make up the uh, adapter plate for the front, and get it up on an engine stand, then I can drop the sump. Then we can have a look at the crank. But so far, it's looking all right. The timing belt was uh, pretty good. Certainly no, uh, no cracking. So I don't think that it's done a lot since it was last fully serviced. Good hope. One day I'll treat myself to a hydraulic puller. It's a bit a lot easier and less effort. That's all right. It's got it's a lot easier now because it's off most of the corrosion at the back. I'll say that. Of course it won't come off all the way, but...
open that. Let's see. <laughs> so that's the main crankshaft. That's called a top crankshaft time pulley. There's a belt that runs around there, which times the pistons, which are there, which you can't turn now because blew everything off. Um, but the Zeg up and down, it times the fuel going in. <laughs> you see the corrosion, can't you? Mm -hmm. ah, be a lot easier going Thank back you. on. And that's my cunning tool. Snazzy. Snazzy. Well, it's a long, long time since I've put an engine in, on an engine stand and it was a bit squeaky bum that. Anyway, uh, I've got pretty much everything stripped off except uh, one engine mount bracket on the sump. So next job is to basically pull the pin and rotate it without ripping my arms off or uh, dropping it on the deck. And then uh, we'll drop the sump off. Um, I might drop it off in this position then any dribbles will catch. Um, it's not been tipped and rocked about, so I'm not expecting much to dribble out. And then we'll have a bit of a tidy up, because can't get to my bench. And I've got a few bits to clean. But I'm happy with progress. Well, I've dropped the sump off and uh, give it a swish around and pulled out the metal bits that were swimming about in the bottom. No idea of size. Don't know what they are. Don't know what they are, but I'm pretty sure they didn't go in with the oil. Um, when I've cleaned the bottom of the sump, you can actually see imprints where they've been thumped inside. Well, I don't know how. So we're going to find out where they've come out from. Um, yeah, I think we'll call it done for the day.